Hello everyone, I'm Liana with Music Academy International. I'm your piano teacher, mentor and coach. In today's video, we will talk about how to practice the piano, how to organize your time and be efficient in your practice. So, let's get started. Okay, so first you always, always, I would like you to start with stretching. Stretch each finger one by one to the left hand right hand for at least one minute so left right each finger even like that i like to stretch my fingers like that ah oh, it's good it's good hands do some kind of wrist circles um shoulder circuit and be ready okay then i will divide my practice in two sections so first section is the technique section. Technique section, and when I'm talking about technique, by now, if you are an early intermediate, you should have at least some kind of fingers exercise. I personally use Hannon. Hannon is a book with uh, 60 exercises, you know, maybe you have a junior uh, Hannon, in which there are all kinds of patterns and articulation, the relaxation, the wrist, and all those uh, juicy things that they need for piano. Then we have having scales. Well, you do know by now probably that scales are really, really important. Scales, arpeggio, chords, inversion, and stuff like that. The five minutes or maybe seven minutes, you know, scales up and down. <laughs> of your practice will take about 15 to 20 minutes you know maybe 25 but I will go 15 to 20 minutes if you don't have time on that you know on that particular day to do them all three pick two of them one day you do Hannon and Cherny one day you do scales and Cherny one day you do very important because technique you cannot develop uh, from today to tomorrow it's uh, think of a um, tennis you know when you learn tennis how many times a tennis person you know uh, strike the ball you know hundreds of hundreds or some hundreds of times or basketball players it's not like they don't know how to shoot you know but they go in with the same move over and over hundreds of times. this is your like cardio fit you know like you're going on the treadmill you gotta work up your fingers and you you will have results i promise you once the technique you have it then you can approach you know harder and harder and more sophisticated songs or pieces and it's really fun you know, if you would practice about 45 minutes a day so that would be a good amount of time second portion is your pieces your songs so i'm always um recommend you to do two songs on the same time so one will be harder or more sophisticated or longer or that takes more time, you know, for you to accomplish. And the other one would be easier, you know, easier, just, you know. So let's say that you are doing a um, Mozart sonata, an easy sonata, or maybe a Clementi, a little sonatina or something like that. 
I'll go with that one that it's more harder for your level, you know. Uh, about 15 minutes, maybe good 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes over those lines that you are like, like you know, practicing on for that week. And then uh, to the end, to end your practice in a good mood, you should go with the easiest one that comes, you know, much easier and it's a little bit more fun. You know, both pieces, both, they need to be different characters. So one could be, as I said, from the classical time, and then the other one could be an easy waltz by Chopin or something like that. Or it could be a contemporary piece if you like to play the sweet. <laughs> you know, my recommendation to have two. Consider yourself that 45 minutes uh, for you, it's the time that you can spend at the piano. Sometimes, and, but only sometimes, if I really, really feel energized, I'm gonna go with the technique just very quick to warm up. You always need to warm up, stretch and warm up, you know, at least for five minutes. And then go straight into the piece that it's, it's obsessing. And then towards the end, go a couple of uh, uh, scales as well. That would help a lot. It's how many times a, a week or how many days it, uh, a week it should be recommended. I'm not going quite, you know, so I'm not that, you know, tough with you <laughs> to say, oh, you have to practice every day. So let's consider that uh, Monday you'd have your piano class, right? After you finish the piano class, I would really recommend at least 10 to 15 minutes to spend um, at the piano just to review or whatever you was working at the class. That would be really, really, really good. But if you don't have time, I, I definitely, it's a must, it's a must practice on Tuesday. Don't skip Tuesday. Tuesday is really, or I'm not saying Tuesday per se, following day after the piano class. When you skip that day, then the memory probably, you know, whatever you achieve at the piano class, 20 to 30%, it might be lost. So do practice the very next day. Then we having, what, four more days? I don't know, something like that? <laughs> okay. No. Do practice five days a week out of, you know, all seven. You must practice those five days a week. When you practice only three days a week, it's not that much difference. When you practice four days, it's a little bit better. But when you practice five days, in a week, it's huge differences from here to here. You know, it's statistic. It's saying that um, the brain, you need to repeat to the brain like five times in order to really, really click. All the information is gonna get there. For some miraculous, that's how we work in miraculous way, is like, you know, and in five times, you will be happy. Your teacher will be like ecstatic. Oh my God, you practiced this is so good, right? So this is um, what I would recommend. Thank you so much for watching and please like, subscribe and see you next time.